Welcome in to the Inside Carolina Player Preview Podcast. I'm your host, Ross Martin, joined by Cheryl McMillan and Greg Barnes. They were talking about Dontrez Styles, the true freshman forward from Kinston, North Carolina, six foot, 205, four star player, ranked number 65 in the nation, number 13, small forward, and the second best player in the state. Cheryl, you covered his recruitment. Um, you know, he flashed, I thought, at, at late night. Um, has, has good size, good athleticism. What do you kind of expect from him, not just this season, but maybe moving forward uh, for him as a player? He's someone who's physically ready to play in the ACC today. And I think that's the most important thing uh, because there are going to be opportunities for him, whether it is at the three or at the four, to earn minutes. Uh, again, Hubert Davis is a new coach, and we just don't know uh, really what he values until we see him you know, coach on the team for a few games. So I think he brings that. And then in talking with folks around UNC and, and talking with folks around Styles, they really like the energy and the passion that he brings to the court. I don't know if you saw it late night when he was introduced, he played for just maybe a second or two, and then it was straight back to business. And that's the kind of uh, player and person he is. And I think that's been lacking to some degree from UNC the last few years. So someone who's very intense, um, who treats basketball more like a business. Um, I think that's good because you have the jovial side with, with other players on the team, but you also need someone uh, not punch in the face, but someone who would get in someone's face uh, in practice. And I think Styles maybe not ready to do that as a freshman, but moving forward, he'll, he'll be that guy. Yeah, Greg, you've covered this team for a while. When you see a freshman with that size, with you know coming in not as a, a five-star, but kind of mid-level, top 100 recruit, what could he do to, to see the court early? Well, I think the, the great question, and, and Ralph kind of hit on it there, is we don't know what Hubert Davis is going to do because when Roy Williams was in town, all of November and pretty much all of December, and sometimes even into January, pretty much everybody that could play played. Uh, the idea being give everybody opportunities. Let's see how everything plays out. Let's see who splashes. We don't know if Hubert Davis is going to take that same approach or not. And so that will tell us a lot right there, exactly how, how that plays out. Um, but yeah, I don't think there's any doubt that, that Styles is a guy that has the physical build. Um, he has the skill set uh, to really play at the ACC level. And I, I think that's important. And so it, it's going to be unique to see how much he gets to play because there are a lot of uh, pieces there on the wink. There's a lot of competition there, but he does have a little bit different skill set than, than maybe a Justin McCoy or uh, Brady Manick for sure at the four. So uh, he, he can find a niche for himself. And I think the energy helps all those little things that he can do tangibles, um, intangibles will really allow him to kind of carve out a spot. Uh, and as Ralph said, not a guy necessarily they need this year, uh, but maybe he can get enough uh, foundational work in that he can really be a key piece for this program moving forward. Cheryl, do you see him sticking at the three? Is that kind of his his college position? Could he play some four? Can you kind of paint the picture of, of what you see him becoming or what he is right now? I think it's both of those. Uh, I, I think you commented on the message boards just about, you know, Hubert Davis's era is going to be more positionless than, you know, Carolina fans and media are used to. I think Styles is a perfect example of that. Mm -hmm. um, if you look at kind of how he's listed, it's more of as a, as a guard forward, which we'll Correct. get to. But Puff Johnson was listed as a guard in the late night uh, roster. I thought that was interesting. Um, but Styles has the ability because of his size. I mean, he's built like a football player. He, he looks like he could be a tight end out there. Um, he has the size and I, I guess the, the strength to play the four, I think, to rebound in the ACC. And then he's pretty athletic, too. So when you add those two things together, I think he can rebound in the ACC. And then defensively, we always talk about it with freshmen. To me, I think that's where you can kind of get in quicker is if you say, I'm going to commit myself to becoming the best defender possible. And, you know, he can guard two through four, I think, legit um, <clears throat> in college basketball. So there, there's a chance there. Maybe it's a lineup where Hebert Davis wants his five best defenders out there. And, and maybe Styles is one of those guys. Or maybe they try to match up with someone who plays more of a small ball four. You know, Styles can do that. I think the issue is, as far as playing time, is that Justin McCoy is there. And I think UNT really likes Justin McCoy. So uh, we'll have to see. And Greg, you see, I mean, when you look at that 3-4 position, Leaky, Styles, Puff, and and McCoy, how do you, how do you see that breaking down? At all? I mean, what, what, what kind of insight can you give us? Well, I think, as Rel said, we've heard a lot of good things about Justin McCoy, just in kind of what he brings to the table. And then you know that Leaky's the veteran. And uh Hubert has been around for, for all of Leakey's time in Chapel Hill, and he can do a lot of different things. 
Uh, we Puff has been injured, so I we'll have to see how much he can actually participate. Uh, you know, a lot of hope that, that he can be a guy. And so Silas has a lot of competition there. Um, but the fact that you know, he averaged double-digit rebounds his last two years of high school. And for, for Hubert Davis, while he, he may take a little bit different approach to rebounding than Roy Williams did, that is still going to be a key. He told us in, in Charlotte for ACC Media Day that uh, all the three, four, and five guys, just like Roy Williams, they're going to the board every single time. And so we talk about being able to carve out um, little specialties, and that's an area where Styles maybe can kind of find his groove. Styles arrives at UNC as a four-star true freshman, continuing the, the, the line of, of Kenson players to UNC. It'll be interesting to see how much he plays in year one in Hubert Davis's first year at UNC.